I'm Richard LaFrancis. I'm the director of the Pappy Boynton Field Museum. The mission of the museum is to preserve the stories and artifacts of local veterans that have contributed to the freedoms that we all enjoy here in the United States. The museum is named the Pappy Boynton Field Museum after Pappy Boynton. For those people who don't know who Greg Pappy Boynton is, he was born in Coeur d'Alene, was raised in this area, and he is our highest scoring ace of World War II, Medal of Honor recipient, Navy Cross recipient. Pappy Boynton was the leader of the Black Sheep Squadron. His leadership led to the destruction of nearly 200 Japanese airplanes, and we preserve his memory as well as everybody else who served in uniform here from our community. My family has a long history of military involvement in the United States, and I've always been involved with history. And my father was a career Air Force officer, and he had a lot of stuff that he collected over combat time in three wars, plus the Cold War. And I had a lot of stuff too, and people kept saying, the kids need to see this stuff. One of the inspirations for this museum is I was at the Kootenai County dump one day and a guy my age dropped off a whole collection of Navy uniforms, pictures and lithographs and I just grabbed it and I discovered later that they are collector items, hard to find and we have them on display here. And that was a motivator and it gave me the idea that what we've got here is memory heaven. We preserve the memories of all of these veterans and, and what they've done for our country. And the alternative is that dump, memory hell. Many of the people that come into the museum are here specifically because they are fans of the Baba Black Sheep series in the 70s, which featured Robert Conrad playing the role of Pappy Boyington. We have many artifacts in here from that TV series. I've watched it all the time, the Baba Black Sheep, every time it was on. I really enjoyed that program. <laughs> I am Randall Eastlack. I served in the 34th Infantry, Rifleman. I was amazed at how much there is to see. They told me it'd take a couple hours to go through it. Well, you'd spend two weeks here and not see all that, <laughs> I think. <laughs> no, I think it's great. This museum is special in that it is very rare that you have a museum that's a GI museum for people that were not MacArthur, not Patton. It is for the guys that actually did all the work. The guys that cooked, that turned the bolts, that fixed the airplanes, that ran the tanks and boats. I'm Delmar Shaw, a World War II veteran. I heard about the museum and I brought all my trophies and everything here. They're no good in a box, so I brought all my stuff, my awards and pins and uniform. And plus, I had a German flag I picked up in Berlin. It was up on a building and a few holes in it, but I didn't mind. That made it all more important. People come in here, they're actually quite surprised. The exterior is a metal-sided building, but once they get inside, they are overwhelmed by the information and displays. We enjoy giving tours. This is a museum of stories. We love walking through the museum with people and telling them the stories that we've got. Their memories are fading, and so what we do is we try and protect all those memories, and we actually are doing research on We feel that we're really fortunate to have somebody of Pappy Boynton stature from our community, and we're very proud of the fact that we're able to honor him, as well as we use him and his legacy to bring attention to all the other veterans from our community and what they've done. When somebody leaves this museum, I want them to feel a sense of patriotism and contentment with what people have done and sacrificed for their benefit.
I think that every community in the United States should have a museum like ours, which celebrates and honors all of those people who served in uniform for all of these freedoms that we enjoy every day. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.